Uh, hey, I'm David Williams. I hail from St. Augustine and this is my 1967 Chevy 90 van. I've been working on it a long time. I've had it since the, the 90s. Um, got it cheap. Oop's been after me for a while to, to do this interview and uh, I finally agreed to do it. It's never going to be finished so I guess it's time to draw the line in the sand. I've been working on it a long time. Uh, starting with a, a color chosen by my son many years ago and then, and then believe it or not my son didn't want this thing. So I just kept on working on it, uh, added the wheels. A lot of the parts on it came from cars I've had in the past. Like the wheels came from an old Corvette. The air cleaner came from my first Camaro. I've got a lot of old parts on it I've had you know, my whole life. I did things like uh, flowers. Um, that was just a kind of a thing to get by quickly. Plan on painting this thing. Eventually I'm doing some paint flowers, doing some different things. You know, different kinds of finds I've made at the swap meets like the surfboard racks. Um, Lots of things added over the years. I've got lots of things for safety. I've upgraded the headlights. I've gone to headlight relays. I've got a underbody lighting actually is not for the looks. The underbody lighting is so I have side lights for more safety at night. Uh, of course I have LED lights in the back. Got uh, four, four other LED lighting zones inside the van. What are those Cooper 60s? Yeah, those are, those yeah. are Cooper 70s actually. Oh, okay. They're not that wide. Uh -huh. Am Amazon tires. I don't want to am really am advertise or anything. Some of the other things I've done are move everything to stainless steel. Every piece of hardware I could change to stainless steel, I did. So for instance, the acorn nuts here on the, on the mirrors, you know, and, and if you looked at the motor, I have a marine theme. I have all stainless steel hardware on the engine and the transmission as well as I painted everything, of course, and rebuilt everything. I um, also have Mercruiser aluminum dress-up parts for the engine. I'm still running the straight six, and I was able to get Mercruiser valve covers and Mercruiser side covers and as I said earlier I have the old chrome air cleaner off my first Camaro on the engine which is kind of neat to, to do after all these years. I upgraded the uh, the doors to have the opening windows which is great to have in the summer of course. This particular window here I can take these two screws out in about four minutes I keep an air conditioner down in the platform and in about two minutes I can have an air conditioner in here in the with wood fillers mm -hmm. that's real nice in the campground in the summer as well. Oh, yeah. Makes my wife think about it <laughs> sometimes. You know, other things you know we've done outside uh, aside from hopping up the engine everything bigger gas tank. Mm -hmm. oh, we got the larger one they offer. Uh, oh, cool. yeah. You see all the curtains here from the outside and the screens. The screens mm -hmm. are a really great thing for camping as well. I spent some time learning to sew myself, so I, I, everything you see here I've done myself. Yeah, how do you have those screens held in there? I've, I've velcroed them in. Oh, velcro, velcro all the way around. Okay. Yeah, you have to shop around and get the adhesive velcro for one side and sew on velcro for the other. Yeah. But those are real nice. It took me a couple tries to get them where they fit pretty good. But it keeps out the no seams, and uh, it took me a couple tries to find the right kind of screen as well mm. that would hold up. But that's really, really, really nice. Between those and the curtains with the light proof barrier in there. I can make it, you know, really dark in the middle of the day, and I can keep the bugs out. You know, two two really big things you need to sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. Very cool. You got a thing on there. You can put a hitch on it if you need to. Yep, yep. Put a ball on there, and you're ready to go. Yep, never have, but I could. Nice. I could. This thing will go. It'll keep up with interstate traffic. I can go 80, oh, yeah. 85 in it. Wow. It's pretty well wound out, and I only get about 12 miles to the gallon like that. But uh, it, it'll it'll go. Yep. And it handles real well. I, I enjoy the crap out of driving this thing. It's been a lot of fun for a long time. This is my second van. I had a yellow 108. It was about the same shade of yellow. It wasn't anywhere near this nice. It was more like a rat van. I drove it for many years until the rat back doors were about rusting off of it and I had the bungee cords holding it shut. Oh. And uh, it was like an accelerometer. But you shift your gears, and you put it in the clutch, and bam, you hear the doors slam shut before you catch the next gear. You got a nice big bed in there, lots of room. Now the inside I got yeah. the bed, I got quilts, uh, a little family history there. My mom sewed the, the one quilt with the brightness and oh, my, nice. my grandmother saw, saw, did the other quilt. They're, they're both handmade works of art. Yeah, it makes it special. And the platform's nice. I made it big enough to hold all my guitar stuff as well as all my extra parts and my, oh, my, my, yeah. my uh, screen yeah. room and so forth when I'm tamping. Underneath, yeah. I, I didn't have room enough in there for my new tool bag, so maybe I have a new project on my hands there. Mm -hmm. We did the motor cover recently. I got a bunch of uh, uh, you know, felt under there with a radiant aluminum barrier and then we carpeted it and that works really, really, really well. I don't ever feel the heat on my leg anymore when I drive. And now you can start to see the, the three lighting zones. I've got the, the, the bedroom zone, mm -hmm. which is blue right now. I've got the, the cab dome light zone. And then you can see I've got an under dash, under seating zone, which is blue right now too as well.
so depending on which uh, controller I point at, I've got them in different areas. I, I can use pretty much one controller to control everything. Oh, you can change the lights? Yeah, yeah. The colors? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I can change this right, right here if I want to go you know, green or red or whatever, or flash oh, with the yeah. music or whatever. It actually does real well. They're like free. Uh, you get on, on, the on the internet and they're like 12 bucks, you know, yeah, or something cheap. like that. They're like, so cheap, they're free. I find myself buying more lights just to get remote controls because mm -hmm. the remote controls are what ends up wearing out. I sized it so I could get a couple ice chests in here. I took them out right now. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see I brought my guitar and my guitar amp, hoping to find some like-minded people. And maybe somebody will see this video and realize I'm a like-minded person and approach me at one of the yeah, events and play jam. some guitar. Oh, that would be great. Because I brought my acoustic guitar as well. So I'm ready to do that. Mm -hmm. I also have it so that the, they'll fit under the platform. If I wanted a little additional security or I wanted a little additional room, mm -hmm. I can fit two guitars and an amp in here along with all the stuff I've already got in there. I did the... Uh, the rear body camera, so I can uh, back up, not hit anybody. It's kind of neat at the show too. I can hook it up to the TV if I want to, but I don't ever do that anymore. But that's real nice. I've saved myself a few scratches and dings with that. Oh yeah. And I noticed a lot of people at the shows do a, a uh, you know, a uh, an easel and, and say something about their van and give a lot of the stats mm -hmm. and stuff. And that's what I'm using my TV for right now. I could talk to that screen, you know, and, and give a little. A little presentation on my van right I'll show another one of my vans you know there's another I've got five there's my recent find in Kentucky after my first van nationals I found that on the way home oh, wow. I have five right now and my friend long tall Dave has three so the, the orange one over there with the flames is pretty much my work too because we get together every Saturday and, and play we were going to the Nationals, and we found that other van down in the hall. And I'm like, Dave, Dave, turn around, go back, go back, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and we went back and got it. I cut the deal with the guy and shook his hand right then, you know, and went back uh, and got it with my trailer. Excellent. So th these are pictures, you know, just of kind of the history of, of some of my vans, and the, mostly the history of this one. So mm -hmm. there's the day one paint. It's an old paint job now, looking kind of faded. But, you know, sandblasted everything, soup to nuts. Did a lot of things soup to nuts, soup to nuts breaks. So nice. you're putting it back together. Tree, under the trees paint job actually you know under the trees mm -hmm. so it can be done there was version 1.0 of a DuPont rebuild on my engine by DuPont I mean I just painted it put some chrome on it put it back together Extra parts. of course I redid everything for the front end yeah. you know, so I could talk to this redid the car I've yeah, redone everything right. I could talk to this sure. I couldn't get all the pictures rotated to work with my USB stick in this uh, uh -huh. particular there was version 1.0 of the wheels you know I had those mobile wheels so I got some history in it. Nice, yeah, you do. There's to talk about the stainless steel and mm -hmm. so forth. Right. I can also watch TV if I bring my laptop with me, which gives me internet. You know, I can watch yeah. anything. Sure. I get Amazon Prime or whatever through mm -hmm. the internet, mm -hmm. and I can I can put that on the TV. And I made all these brackets, by the way. I, the ones for the curtains and all. I welded all this stuff together. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on the roof, the ceiling, but uh. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. But yeah, I, I made all these these brackets, and this is just conduit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's real cheap, and if it starts oh, yeah. to rust, I'll just uh, replace it. Right. You know, so I made those brackets. There's five custom brackets I welded up for that, and you know, of course, sandblasted them. Everything was sandblasted and epoxy primed and before I did anything. And of course, stainless steel hardware holding everything. I made the uh, TV mount, and it's made so I can swing it back and forth. Mm. There's a, a piece hanging out on the back. So mm. this is set up for the show now, so people can see it from the door. Yeah. But you can also turn it and, and watch it, you know, from laying in the bed. Which is pretty nice. Cool. Now I'm doing it. I have the paneling in it right now, and I like it. But you know it pops with green, mm -hmm. so I think I'm going to go red. <laughs> and uh, I did teach go. myself to sew, and I have oh, yeah. I have the stuff to do it. And I've already bought it. And oh, I just nice. this was why I was holding you out, dude, right here. You wanted to get it, yeah. yeah I was like going to do okay. red red button tuck and roll, and and cover up all that that paneling. Well, now, so we'll have to do an update. Get that going. We'll do an update when you get her done. Yeah, we can do that. I was oh, trying yeah. to pick out colors and get some painted flowers on here. Mm -hmm. You know, the list never ends. I've got things to do. Oh, yeah. I want to bolt my butt racks down better. I'm scared to carry my surfboard up there. Oh, I'm yeah. afraid it's going to blow off, and no. I can't afford that. No, you don't want that to happen. But I've been lucky. You know, I was able to pick this up cheap when the getting was still good. Yeah. I had a traveling job. I was finding them on the road for about $200 each at the time, uh, not running. Oh. I paid five for this one because it did still run. Uh, my friend got his for free out of a guy's uh, new wow. field, but and that worked away, out. Huh? That worked out. Yeah, please get it out of my yard. Oh wow! So he started a little farther behind than I did, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot of fun. I've been lucky in a way that I have a machinist as a best friend, so uh, I get all my machine work pretty much done. Nice. Barter barter system. I do seats for him. I sew up his truck seats, and he does engines for me. Box. 
all the glove boxes on these old soldiers are, are tore up, so I did the aluminum glove box. Of course, I upgraded the stereo system. I have Bluetooth. I have a microphone up in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. On my to-do list yeah. is to add a couple more speakers so I have outside sounds as well as inside sounds. Mm -hmm. Of course, I did the gauges. I got the, the mandatory uh, dimmer switch uh, goofy foot light oh, pedal yeah, over there. That, yeah. so I sewed all this. I recovered my, you know, repadded the dash and uh, gave it some vinyl. Did the seats in a matching color. This is when I was first learning to sew, so they're not my best oh, work anymore. Okay. I did pick up a carpet uh, serger as well, so I'll be doing some additional work on this. Mm -hmm. This is the best thing ever, though, for the heat. It's right there that oh, yeah. when you're driving it, yeah. whichever side you're on, it was burning you up. Now you can't even feel it. You don't feel anything coming off of it between that and the Dynamat. I've saved some things over the years. I got this. This is cool. I don't know if you noticed this, but I was able to pick this up on eBay. So I've got the original sales brochure for a Chevy van and sport van. Oh, yeah. Cool. So it's really cool. It's got all the, the specs and the engines and mm -hmm. the different interior options. Oh, yeah. That's good to have. Yeah. And I was also able to pick up. Oh, I have to reach it. I was also able to pick up the original oh, your manual. factory manual. And, I, you know, of course, me being the way I am, I have to keep the manuals for everything else in there, too. I got the manuals for the lighting systems and the speakers and the stereo and so forth in there. Oh, and what, 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 what? Six cylinder van is complete without a cherry bomb, right? So I had to have a bright red cherry bomb underneath it. Boy, that thing really lights oh, up. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. This is uh, the inside of the engine compartment of my 67. You can see I've dynamated everything, tried to de detail everything nicely. Upgraded the engine to the HEI, mandatory on these old sixes. You can see the old air cleaner from my first Camaro on there. You can also see from this side, you can see the uh, the Merc Cruiser aluminum valve cover, which I sandblasted and recrinkled. The engine is a uh, is a 250 that's been bored 30 over, so that uh, makes it a little bit bigger. I put a nice Lunati cam in it and uh, did a lot of work on the head, so it's uh, pretty snappy for a six cylinder. Mm -hmm. I have no trouble keeping up with traffic whatsoever. I don't have any overheating problems. I don't have any inside either, thanks to the Dynamat and the yeah, other work I did on the, on the motor cover. There you go. So it's pretty sweet. Um, been thinking about fuel injection, but I haven't pulled that trigger yet. There's always something to think about here on these things. But it runs great, and I love it. So there, there's a tip for you if you're driving a, a straight six, look around at all the old boats on the side of the highway, and you might find yourself a killer aluminum valve cover and a killer set of aluminum side covers for your, for your six cylinder. They look great, and they're starting to find out about them on the internet. They're getting more and more expensive. But if you look around at those old boats, you might be able to get yourself a deal. Of course, I did gauges, upgraded the, the radiator fan, mm -hmm. all new hoses, soup to, it's pretty much a soup to nuts rebuild this last time. All right, you guys that are thinking about getting an old van, I advise you to go ahead and do it. There's still plenty of them out there. I still see them when I'm driving on the roads. Come on out here and have fun with us. We're having a great time at this event. We have a great time at all the events. Come on out and have a good time with us. Thank you very much.